Hundreds of students, parents, and teachers gather at DeWitt Clinton High School to figure out its fate. Our Brittany Miller got the details on their protest. This audience was on fire. <laughs> on Thursday, the DeWitt Clinton High School community ignited the flame of hope and support in response to the potential closure of their school. A report card by the Department of Education that had some very negative points in it, and they're talking about an action plan for us, which could include closing the school. In their 2011-2012 progress report, they received an F as their overall grade, but teachers say it's due to the lack of resources that they're failing to progress. You know, we have 20 operating computers for a school of 3,700 students. But now teachers and students say they're afraid this school, once listed as one of the top 100 schools in the country, is on a downward spiral to shutting down. I've achieved a lot in this school and for it to close before I'm ready to graduate and go on to do further things is disappointing. One by one, students, parents, and teachers spoke up and spoke out, saying schools don't fail, policies fail schools. Nevertheless, this school's community is confident they'll bounce back. I think if anything, it's brought us together, it's united us in recognizing that there does need to be a change. It's just a matter of how we implement that change. Now, teachers tell me that Clinton is only on a preliminary list for closure, so we do not know if they're going to actually co-locate or phase out, but they do tell me that they are prepared to persevere if it does come to that. From Clinton High School, I'm Brittany Miller, News 12, The Bronx. We just asked the Department of Education to find out what the set plan of action is for Clinton, but we're still waiting to hear back. I'm Kevin.